CH3 with a positive charge only exists as an intermediate in most of organic chemistry, but I'm sure you can form it in the gas phase and you can probably even isolate it if your temperature is near absolute zero or something, I don't know. But we're gonna draw its Lewis structure here just to show you because you're here looking for it, right? Carbon brings four electrons in its valence shell. I know that because it's the one, two, three, fourth elect uh, element in its row, and each hydrogen brings one electron, so we have to add three ones. Hydrogen brings one electron each, and there's three of them. Now a positive charge means you have to take one electron away, so four plus three is seven, but you take one away and you're left with only six electrons. If you think it's going to cause a problem because you can't satisfy the octet rule, you're right but you don't get a choice. You've got a carbon surrounded by three hydrogens. And by the way, carbon can make up to four bonds. So it's obviously the element in the center here. Hydrogen prefers to have just one bond. And I like to singly bond all those together because they have to be together in a molecule for this to even be a question. So one, two, three bonds. Oh wait, that's six electrons entirely. That's it, that's all I can do. I'm out of electrons. I'm supposed to put this in square brackets with a plus charge. This is my Lewis structure for CH3+. If you're wondering how it's possible, it's generally not unless you're in like second year organic chemistry. The idea here is that the 2p subshell of carbon, normally I should point out carbon is 2s2 and 2p2, one, two, three, da, 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 da. The electron configuration diagram looks like this. This is going to be sp2 hybridized, which means that the carbon that originally looked like this actually looks like sp2, one, two, three, two p, one of those left over. One, two, three, four electrons, one, two, three. Oh, and I remove an electron for the positive charge this is the form of carbon in this case. So you can make one, two, three single bonds and you have a completely unoccupied 2p orbital. If I was to draw the 3D structure for this, I'd draw carbon here with its hydrogen. I'd draw hydrogen sticking out. I'd draw hydrogen going out into like behind the paper and then the 2p unoccupied orbital sticks out above and below like this. You might want to draw a plus charge in there to show that it's got a positive charge. The idea that I'm trying to get across here is that this is stable-ish. You can rationalize that it does form at some point, but it's gonna be reactive. It has a positive charge. It's super susceptible to a nucleophilic attack, and it's rare to even be made in the first place. This is its Lewis structure. But if you really, if you're coming here looking for it, you're probably looking for that structure anyways. Ah, oh, there's three minutes of me jabbering on about a question that you probably shouldn't have even been asked. Best of luck.